It's time to let's talk. All right, what's up? What's good? The Wolf is here, and uh, we have a bit of a topic to talk about in this video of PlayStation Now and the subscription service that Sony has had around for a long time, starting on the PS4. Uh, before it was, I, I was, I just want to start this video out was was saying that uh, if you have not checked out PlayStation Now because you think it's only streaming games, go and check it out. It's uh, so PlayStation Now since like the PS4 Pro has been out, you've been able to download uh, PlayStation One, Two, and Four games. So any games that are on there that are not PS3, I know. So the PS3 is a technical hurdle. Uh, it was built on a different set of hardware, like the processor is different. So the game engines were had, had to be built differently. Uh, and because of that reason, um, there I think what the technical thing behind it was is if they wanted to get that to run on the PS5, they would have to do it emulator style. So they'd have to actually take like a PS3 emulator and put it onto the console and make it run that way. It can, it's possible they can do it. I think they just haven't like gotten to the point of actually making it happen yet. Possibly in the future, it could happen. But for right now, PlayStation Now games for July, Red Dead Redemption 2, Neo 2 Judgment uh, with... Uh, God of War moving out, Olympic Games, Tokyo 2020, and NASCAR Heat 5. Now, that's that's a big list. That's a giant list lineup of new games coming to PlayStation now. And that's on top of also PlayStation Plus uh, getting a Plague Tale, uh, the, like the PS5 next-gen version of that launch, and I, th I think at midnight tonight. Um, and uh, what is it? WWE All-Stars, which is really cool. Uh, or Battlegrounds, uh, sorry, All-Stars with the old game. Um, but WWE Battlegrounds, which is a, a really cool arcade WWE game, um, you know, beat em up style. And there's one other game in there. I'm, I'm totally blanking on what it was, but, um, yeah, yeah. It's like PlayStation's going all out there. They're throwing the, the, you know, the big guns out there. Now, is this keeping up with something like a game pass now game pass? I'm a PlayStation fan through and through, but I can definitely tell you Game Pass on the PC made me load up a bunch of games I would never have tried before, like a bunch of indie games um, that I checked out were on Game Pass. And yeah, I had a lot of fun with them. Um, I actually streamed and you can see the, the stream replays. Uh, you can see me, you know, checking those games out a little bit by little bit. I can say that you get a lot of bang for your buck with Game Pass. I I still think you know there's there's a handful of really big budget titles on game pass uh, like your first party titles i'm not the biggest forza fan I'd, I'd rather play like a need for speed myself i just don't like the way forza handles but uh like gears of war 5 i it, i don't know if i would have checked it out as soon as i did if it wasn't for game pass to drop in you know day one on that i had a lot of fun with gears 5 uh well well the so medium was on there i had some fun with that but PlayStation Now, I mean, Red Dead Redemption 2, Neo 2, Judgment, that's three big titles. Like, I would say that almost overshadow Gears 5, Medium, and the indies that I was seeing on there. Also, God of War. Um, and if you are, like, for me, a NASCAR game almost overshadows a Forza just because, like I said, like, I don't like the, the handling of a Forza Horizon or... Or um, the I, I've seen actually newer games coming out. So I've been seeing like newer newer games coming out, like this one here, Underground Garage Simulator, which is it's a uh, it, it's it, you you take your cars, like you get your pieces and parts and everything, but but you bring them into the shop and then pretty much you fix them up. So it's like it's like a garage mechanic simulator, but then you can also take them out and start racing with them and everything. And to me, I'm like, man, I, I would love to see Forza do something like this, where you build your car from the ground up, because um, that would be even more expensive than a Need for Speed at that point. Microsoft could have something really cool underneath their belt if they did something like this. Um, this guy, or these guys right here, Bearded Brothers Games, I mean, they're basically like an indie company, indie, you know, like nowadays that term gets thrown around so much, but even I throw it around a lot, but, uh, yeah, it's just, I don't know, something like this, like underground street racing and, you know, it's, they're already trying to do that with horizon, but anyways, so yeah, if, if this came to PlayStation now, I would have way more interest in like underground garage than say a Forza. 
Um, for right now, I still, I kind of have more interest in something like a heat five more so than, um, than any Forza game on the market. I kind of really like in this, this PlayStation now stuff. Um, I think that they are really trying to up their game when it comes to PlayStation now. Yes. It's probably competition wise of like, okay, let's try and get everybody over because the subscription service stuff, the, the subscription service model, I should say, um, really, really sells well. Uh, for the platform of Sony and and Microsoft, I don't know how much the like the developers themselves get paid because I know the publisher makes like majority of the money and then they they fish down the money down to the uh, down to the developers with this model of you know subscription you know getting paid per game to have it on a subscription. Um, the thing is though, you get a chunk of change from what I've heard. You get a chunk of change from the transaction of the subscription and basically the rest of your money comes through dlc add-ons so instead of basically your money coming from like game sales itself people are paying a smaller amount of money to end up you know playing the game so to me having like judgment neo 2 and red dead redemption 2 not day one releases um but like games have been out for a little while i think this it kind of favors game development a little bit more because then you get like a bigger chunk of change goes to the developers to actually make the next game happen. And then you can get an, an, an extra chunk of change uh, from the DLC sales and then an even extra chunk of change from say the PlayStation now. So Sony, you know, re Sony basically renting the licenses to have um, third party game developers putting their games on, you know, on, on their service. Um, except for like God of War, which is of course a Sony first party studio. It's a PlayStation studio title. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I, I like what PlayStation now is doing. Did game pass do it first? Of course, uh, with like so many different games and like trying to put like, it feels like Sony's now finally, you know, they're showing up to the party. And the thing is Sony has so many top tier games that sure game pass did it first, but Sony can actually kind of do it better. Uh, I feel like there's a lot more stuff that Sony can can put out there. They, I, on top of that, too, from what I've heard from a lot of developers, Sony has a better relationship with developers than Microsoft. Um, and that is not a bias of any kind. That's just what I've heard from developers' mouths themselves. Everybody who's worked at, you know, in PlayStation Studios, they all have nothing but positive stuff to say when it comes to the Microsoft camp there's you know there's positive but there's also holdbacks it's not that there's like negative stuff it's just holdbacks and there's like these really weird holdbacks at microsoft um definitely like some employees sometimes for some reason but uh i just wanted to i just wanted to bring to light that playstation now is getting a lot better so if you have not um checked it out in the past definitely go ahead I, i'm pretty sure if you have not ever checked it out on your profile you can actually get it for a percentage off um, don't don't exactly quote me on that. Just go check it out because I'm not quite sure what the deals are right now running. But uh, yeah, 12 months, a 12 month subscription to PlayStation runs you. Let's see if we can bring it up real quick. Air 404, the websites, you know, uh, if you go on the console, though, you can bring it right up. I can't exactly remember what it is. So um, Epic Month, let's find out more ways in these games. Join PlayStation now tomorrow, July 6th. So as of the recording of this video, Tomorrow, Red Dead Redemption 2, Neo 2, and Judgment are all going to be on there along with God of War, NASCAR Heat. And uh yeah, I plan on actually playing a lot of NASCAR Heat 5. I don't know. I've been I've been in the uh in the Fast and the Furious mode, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, so uh hit that subscribe and thumbs up. I'm gonna get my myself a little animation that pops up on here, so I don't have to keep saying this, but um yeah thanks for tuning in go check out the the channel it's got a bunch of different videos up on the up on the werewolf channel and over on twitch at twitch.tv backslash werewolf um definitely go check out all that stuff tone wolf um the links are all around the channels and, and everything um and yeah uh so thanks for tuning in thanks for stopping by and as always i will see you next time